This is an explanation question. We see a clear paradox here that the money spent in acquiring the new manuscripts has increased. So the cost has increased, yet the number of new books published each year has decreased. However, the industry's profits have been steadily rising. We need an answer choice that explains the rise in profits despite the increase in cost and decline in number of new books being published. Answer choice A contributes to explaining why the number of new books being published has declined. However, this answer choice does not explain the main paradox that the profits have still increased. So answer choice A cannot be the correct answer choice. Answer choice B is a trap. This talks about another cost increasing quickly, in fact more quickly than the increase in profits. Many students will choose this answer choice thinking that an increase in marketing budget may have led to higher sales. However, this answer choice fails to explain an increase in profit despite a decrease in the new number of books being published. You may want to hold this answer choice, but eventually this will make way for a more appropriate explanation answer choice. Answer choice C delves into all operational details and offers no explanation about why the profits have increased despite a decrease in the number of new books being published and an increase in the cost of acquiring new manuscripts. Answer choice D suggests that the cases of highly similar manuscripts being increasing and therefore such a scenario should lead to greater competition, lesser variety and therefore lower profits. So answer choice D does not explain this further complicates the three trends being discussed in the paragraph. Let's confirm answer choice E now. This answer choice suggests that competition among publishing houses to acquire promising manuscripts has intensified. So this part of the information explains the first trend here that why more money is being spent in acquiring new manuscripts. Then choice E talks about a contraction in the range of books for which there is a large market. So this contraction bit in the information here explains the fall in the number of new books being published and the winners even getting a large market to cater to explains why the industry's profits have been increasing despite there being a decline in number of new books and there being an increase in the money being spent for acquiring new manuscripts. E is the correct answer choice.